Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Good, hey, friends. How are you? Well, well. Good. Congratulations on your new series. I was able to watch the entire series. Um, and you. it's very, very entertaining. Um, so my first question is to all three of you, how did you guys even become aware of this pro of this project? And how did you get involved? Just, just through the uh, auditions. I just got sent an audition. Uh, and uh, it was a week of, of three very big auditions and uh, just threw it down. And yeah, it was just very, very, it was very, you know, that's how it happens. It's a very boring way of, of finding out about it, but just, yeah, the usual audition rounds. Same, same. Likewise. Yeah. I mean, just, I, I was living up in, uh, in upstate New York during the pandemic in a kind of a, a barn house cabin thing and uh, living a very like thorough Walden pond existence, chopping wood and stuff. And, and, and weirdly western too kind of frontier life uh and then got got the audition and and was like hang on this is just what i'm doing right now i'm just i'm living like a frontiersman right now so uh so it happened to be kind of very uh yeah convenient that i was i was experiencing that at the time but auditions 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 yep <laughs> yeah. you know it came it came through but it came through quite early like early on and then it's it, because it went like later i didn't actually go free call for it for like a, a while and um, because it was quite early on but um yeah but it was a brilliant script right from the offset it's really exciting and when you guys were all cast um how much research did you guys do um specifically because it is billy the kid and you know there's been a lot of iterations there's a lot of history on this character and the other notable outlaws that are included in this series so how much research did you guys do in regards to your characters there's a i mean you're very lucky as an actor playing a historic character because you you kind of have this wealth of uh well depending on the historic character but in this case you have this wealth of, of knowledge and books out there. Um, so I think at least I could speak for myself. I start with, with what, what exists already, the books and the, the historic accounts. And that's a really nice kind of crutch and a good way in as an actor to be able to open the floodgates of your imagination and start to kind of, you know, build the imagery in your head. But, and I've said this kind of before, there's, um, there's, a, there's a, a place and a, a moment in time when you're researching where you kind of go, okay, these are all historical accounts, but they're also from a certain person's perspective. Um, and so, you know, the main book that, that everyone reads about Billy the Kid is written by his killer, Pat Garrett. And so at that point you go, oh, hang on, this is Pat's perspective of Billy the Kid and what happened historically. And some of it might be objective, but it's going to be subjective along the way. And so you start to build your own version, not of history, but your own version of the character in your mind from what you've read. Um, and then and then learning all the skills. I mean, learning to ride and learning to shoot and lasso and, and spin guns and and uh, and just also kind of working out like what what living in the elements at that time, because a lot of it was like sleeping under the stars or sleeping in a wagon and, and what that does to your body. It changes how you walk. It changes how you talk. And for me, like a big way in is, is through the voice and, and uh I, I kind of found this gravelly, gravelly quality to my voice, which I, I don't think I've ever lost actually since last October, since I'm, I'm still speaking like a, like a chain smoker. Um, but, you know, you, you, you work out in your imagination what living that way does to your body. And then you try and emulate that. Yeah. Um, sorry. No, I was just, I was just, you know, prompting one of you to, to answer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, say so, 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 same same as tom um i i was really there's much less on on jesse to to read and research which is part of i don't know he seemed to me an enigma and that was really really i don't know exciting for some reason i found it very exciting to because he at a certain point he was except he was exceptionally famous and maybe infamous is a better word but you know, he was called Captain Evans in the press and Colonel Evans. I mean, they, he, he was, he was larger than life for a, for a period, a very short period, like a couple of years. And then he just walks out of hit the history books and we don't know anything about him. He, he may have started a farm and, and died in his bed, a happy man. We don't know. Um, but the, the little gleamed bits of history you can get, like he's, he's at the centerpiece of so many, crucial moments f 
for the Lincoln County War, for, for bringing Billy across into, you know, the outlaw life and into, into Lincoln County. And I don't know, that, that, that enigma of like who that person was, like somebody who had, I guess, fame, so to speak, but, but chose to maybe walk away from it. I don't know, but it, it was, yeah, it's a very exciting sort of thing to pull together. Yeah, I, I, I think, well, first of all, I had absolutely no idea that um, Billy the Kid was the son of Irish immigrants. So I think learning a little bit of the family history um, at the start was very helpful to me because we jump into Kathleen's story um, post getting to New York. I think for me, the research that was useful was probably understanding Ireland at the time, what had gone on, you know, lack of food, starvation, we're talking about the famine times then coming into New York and like it's so interesting I think it's something like 35,000 Americans claim Irish heritage and this is when all these people are arriving and um you know I've visited Ellis Island and everything in my time and seen wow. the lists and lists of names coming off those coffin ships so the experience is gleaned by this by Kathleen prior to even going on the journey west to me an understanding of what's behind helped with the going forward because the most amazing thing about Michael's scripts that are just so amazing they were so amazing even from like initial reading was that as an actor you got to go on the journey so then the experiences kind of influence things and and big things happen to Kathleen so many big <laughs> things happen so then all those things kind of played out in real time um so yeah I don't I hope that answers your question <laughs> no it does <laughs> and then also your guys is the all three of your guys's characters play a very significant role in each other's lives not just one person but in each other's lives so especially because you know, unfortunately, a lot of your guys' filming was done during a pandemic. How did you guys manage to build that chemistry between the three of you? Because it it plays beautifully in this season. So how did you manage that? First off, it's really nice to hear that you feel it plays beautifully. Yeah. Because we, we felt that. Um, I think something like a common thread that we've all been talking about is just the camaraderie on set on this project. Yeah. Is, is We've all been working for a little while and, and uh I, I certainly haven't until this job had such a tight knit group. I mean, you always get little pockets here and there and there's always some camaraderie, but, but this was something else. It was like the, the chemistry between everyone was there from the outset. And I think that's a credit to the, the producers and Donald and, and, and Michael Hurst and, and the people who are responsible for employing us uh, uh, first and foremost. But, but also I just think, so credit to all these wonderful actors who care most about the craft and, and the storytelling above all else. And everyone, there was no ego. There was no, uh, there was no me. It was all us. Um, and, and also we were all filming out on location without any studios. So there was nothing stuffy about it. We were all outside, which made the COVID aspect a little easier to deal with because we could, you know, in between takes, we could stand outside six feet apart and, 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 uh, and be able to talk with masks off and, and get to know each other. And so, and it kind of felt a bit like being at like a Western summer camp, honestly. Um, <laughs> right. Like it was, it, was, it was like adult summer camp where, you know, that involved, famine and death and, and all those like terrible <laughs> topics in terms of <laughs> the Western world, not us, the, you know, the, the storytelling. Um, but, but for us as actors, I, I felt like summer camp and, and um, I can't wait to go back. <laughs> yeah, we'd also come in and like quarantine to come into the country and all had those kind of experiences. So, you know, we were totally, I've never had a filming experience before. Like even when you film in another country where you feel like you've literally gone away and isolated with this group of people yeah. like it felt completely other and uh, you know yes I absolutely missed all my friends and family but it, it, there there is an element then where you can really get lost in this world particularly when you're filming on location and getting you know brought out to these landscapes and environments that are just like uh, you know it's such a gift it's like 360 so the, the imagination isn't creating everything because it's literally there you're just actually to be <laughs> just be <laughs> um, yeah and I think it's, it's a trickle down thing where you know we're all we all are so aware that we're a part of something that 
Michael has wanted to write and has been passionate about since he was 15 years old. Uh, that's not lost on anybody. That, and then we've got amazing, you know, we've got um, Otto Bathurst coming in and he's just done a, such a, he's so talented, you know. So we've, we all are just, we all know this. This is something that we're very special to be a part of. It's very lucky to be a part of. Um, and, and, and then being there and actually doing it, I don't know, personally fulfilled m more dreams than I could have hoped, you know, it was better than I could have hoped it would have been, um, with the, the, the talent pool, of, um, of, of actors, of the writing, of the, the locations, um, of, of, of every aspect of it, the sets that what we were learning, we, you know, we were out training how to rope cows and 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 the, the horse riding the shoot i mean there's just there's just so many elements uh to the storytelling uh, which just made it special well thank you guys like i said i really enjoyed this season and i cannot wait for other people to see it and thank you for taking the time to speak with me today